Washington County Sheriff tells deputies to not, I repeat, not enforce the law of a city's new homeless encampment legislation. They just put this into effect and they're like, they're trying to clean things up. They're trying to get back to normal. And King County, in their infinite wisdom, believes without any legal representation whatsoever, no court ruling, no, no ruling from a judge. Yeah, we're we're just, we're we're just not going to do that. Yeah, that's, that's, we're not doing that. Yeah, that's what we got going on here in King County, Washington, my county. Let's get into it. Here we go. So I think mainly this is a, this has become about politics over public safety. Just hours after learning that the King County Sheriff's Office filed a lawsuit in federal court seeking a judge to determine the constitutionality of Burien's new camping ordinance, I sat down virtually with Mayor Kevin Schilling. Constantine has been the county executive since 2009. Since then, we have had record homelessness, record drug overdoses and continuous tax increases to fund programs that have not shown success. Sheriff Patricia Cole Tyndall defending her decision. This is 100% my decision. To sue Burien over the city's ban that would boot homeless encampments from within 500 feet of schools, libraries, and daycares. Whether this particular ordinance... King County, our executive, Dow Constantine, is just a tool. He, He is an ineffective tool. He is woke. He goes down all of King County, has all this woke nonsense. It's just, it's absolutely mind-blowingly ridiculous. He appointed that sheriff, the leader of the sheriff's department. He appointed, uh, not sheriff's department, she appointed that sheriff, King County. So she is directly under him, and she is saying that it's her decision. No, it's not. Your superior, King County Executive, Dow Constantine told you, hey, oh, we're not going to do that one. We're not going to enforce that law because uh, it doesn't really coincide with our belief system of wokeness for all. And this is my county, and it's so backwards. It is so backwards. Ordinance criminalizes things that people can't help, and in this case, that would be the fact that they're without housing. Noting she has serious concerns about the exclusion zones, meaning for now, this downtown Burien sidewalk encampment is staying. Opponents of the ban say the city should provide better services and let the camp stay until they do. Supporters of the ban say it's necessary to control the effects from encampments, and the sheriff's office says a judge should sort it out. In an ideal situation, there is collaboration. I will say with the city of Burien, we have not found that level of collaboration, and so at times things are more difficult. I'm not really sure what their plans are to move forward, but my plan to move forward is to try to sit down with the sheriff's department, ensure that we have the right and ability to have our ordinance enforced. And if this does Reasonable. move forward in federal court, it could take several months, if not weeks, for a judge to take any action. Now, the mayor did tell me that he has a meeting set for Wednesday with the sheriff's office, and he hopes that the two parties can come to some sort of an agreement. Live in Seattle, Hannah Knowles, Como News. So, sheriff's department, are you enforcing the law, or what are you doing here? What, what do you got going on? Because are you, are, you, are you trying to promote homelessness? Are you trying to promote drug addiction? Are you trying to promote the activities and the craziness that goes on with the encampments. Is that what you're trying to do? Because it kind of feels like that because Burien is trying to work its way out. And what they've effectively done is they put a law in the books that has 500 feet from, from just about everything. They've essentially banned homelessness, except in a couple of areas. And I'm okay with that. It's your city. You can do what you want with it. And if you want to ban people doing drugs, you know, sex trafficking, buying and selling stolen goods. If you want to ban that and, and then, you know, that's up to you. But, but then if, if you are contracting in the city of Burien contracts with King County Sheriff's department to enforce their laws, and then the sheriff's department just says, ah, yep, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that because we're going to, we're going to do this instead. We're going to sue and we're going to say, oh, we don't believe that's constitutionally allowed. It's okay. Which way are we going? Are we just coming or going here? We'll look at that article, but Mayor uh, Burian Mayor Kevin Schilling, we need to ensure that we're prioritizing treatment over tents and public safety over politics so we can get folks off the streets and into shelter and services. That's the bottom line behind what spurred this new ordinance. And now you've literally got King County, and King County is so woke. 
I mean, it just, it hurts. It's so bad. King County, Washington Sheriff had directed their, her deputies to not enforce the city of Burien order outlawing homeless encampments within 500 feet of locations like schools, parks, until the constitutionality of the order was resolved without telling city officials. By the way, any of those laws that we just don't really like, yeah, we're not going to, we're not going to enforce them. I mean, it's okay. Yeah, that, that whole thing with breaking into stores. Guys, go ahead. Just have a field day. Just go do your thing. Go do your fentanyl Floyd deal. Just go ahead and take whatever you need. Just only set a few on fire, though, because you know, not that many stores in Burien. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm totally joking. And yet the bottom line is, is that's literally what they do. Oh, we don't like that law. Therefore, we're not going to enforce it. Yeah, instead, we're going to do a little lawsuit. And um, we're going to see what kind of shenanigans we can get into here. Because our job, our contract with the city is to uphold their laws. And now, as a law enforcement, we're just going to pick which ones we, we want to enforce, pick which ones we don't want to enforce. Ah, that one's not a good one. No, no, we need the tent people to be able to do their thing. Now, Burien Mayor Kevin Schilling is examining the interlocal agreement between the city and county sheriff's office. Schilling said if he determines the agreement was broken, he would consider establishing a city-run police department. If... If the, the people, if the contractors you're working with aren't doing the job, which is their job is to uphold the law, then yeah, you might need a little redo action on that bad boy, right? Burien City Council adopted a new ordinance on March 4th, which prohibits people from sleeping overnight on public property from 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. the next day if a shelter, bed, or treatment facility is available. Totally reasonable. It, this notion of just people have the right to live wherever the F they want is so whacked, is so bad for so many different components of not only society, but the lives of those who are living there. We just watched what happens when a tent encampment burns up, right? I mean, that, that Nina got out alive, right? So many of these folks, there's crazy stuff that, has, that happens to them. And you're, you're hearing all kinds of stories about what's happening to the females in these encampments. Hey, it's, it's not good. You know, everybody's girlfriend is the term, right? Camping on public property is also prohibited during daytime hours under the new law. Burien has gone ham. They have gone ham on establishing guidelines that says, no muss, we're not doing that anymore. This is what we're doing. And now their law enforcement is, ah, yeah, not so much. Um, nah, we're going to have to wait. I wait for a judge's ruling because, you know, in our infinite wisdom, because we're legal scholars, I mean, sheriff is the damnedest nearest thing to, I don't know, Supreme Court judge, right? I mean, they're side and side. How this comes down, here's how it comes down. King County Executive Dow Constantine says, no, that's not legal. You go get him, Tiger, tells the sheriff. Yeah, we're not enforcing. And that's what happens. When the new ordinance was pushed, the city said on its website that it was collaborating closely with King County Sheriff's Office and service partners to ensure outreach and services were offered before the code is enforced. Totally normal. That's, yep, okay. So now it's, it's, in, it's, it's law. All right, boys and girls, go do your job. Clear those people out. Let's get going here. City also said that King County Sheriff's Office understands that the code cannot be enforced without first verifying that a shelter, bed, or treatment facility is available. King County Sheriff Patty Cole Tyndall on Friday, that was the woman we heard speaking, who's basically saying, that's my decision. No, it wasn't your decision. That was Dow Constantine. She told her deputies to not enforce the ordinance, according to internal documents obtained by Fox News contributor Jason Rance, KTTH, here in Seattle, citing concerns over the constitutionality of the new law. Are we just going to pick and choose laws that we want to enforce? Is that is that what we're going to do? I mean, in in these states, in these areas where things are a little wonky, and by wonky, I mean really woke. Seems like that's the deal, right? We have strong concerns on whether the terms of this ordinance are constitutional based on the existing legal authority, Cole Tyndall said Rance is reporting for KTTH. All right, so you're just going to do your thing. Okay. There's another, um, another picture of uh, Andrea Suarez here with a tent underneath. Uh, I think, is this, was this under? The I ninety on ramp. It's somewhere really close there. Yeah, just a bunch of just a bunch of garbage. I'm sure needles, human waste. 
Yeah, but I, I, I'm sure this, you know, the new law violates constitutionality somehow. I mean, what, what, what are you getting at? I mean, where are you going with this? Why don't you just sweep up the damn encampments and, you know, get people kind of going where they need to, which is a shelter somewhere, right? I do not want any of you to find yourself in a situation where you're asked or expected to do something that could violate legally established rights. Uh huh. Rightio. Yep. The sheriff wrote in an email obtained by the station. I am directing you that we will not enforce this particular section of the Burien Municipal Code until the constitutionality of the public camping ordinance is resolved. What's uh, what, what's to resolve there? Just go and enforce it. You know what I mean? You get the, the, the real issue we've got here kind of behind this is that we've got some pretty major cases going on. The Boise case is um, kind of the big one about where people can camp, you know, urban camping style, if there is shelter available or where they can't. You've got some pretty big cases going on. And based on how those go, I think a lot of this will determine, you know, how things move forward. But in the case of Burien, they're just, you know, they've got a law in the books that would help their citizens immensely and also help their town hall because that's where these tents are literally stacked up right there. Cole Tindall did not make Burien City officials aware of the decision, including Schilling. Just, yeah, not, not going to enforce it. Yeah. Hey, there's some tents over there. Could you uh, clear them out? I mean, that's your job. You are law enforcement. This violates, you know, our recent law. Could you clear them out? No. Nope. Nope. Any particular reason you won't clear them out? No, I mean, you know, constitutionality. Like, huh. All right. Okay. So what we're doing? Interesting. Makes you want to move to Burien, doesn't it? What is, where is Burien? Burien south of uh, Seattle. What is it? South by 10 miles, dozen miles, something like that. I mean, uh, how, how would I describe Burien? It's, um, it's outside of city limits. It, um, it's got some affordable real estate. It's within close proximity to commuting distance. It's a, it's a little suburb. It's a suburb that's been there for a long, long time. It's got a little downtown, not huge, but, um, you know, they kind of do their own thing and, you know, there used to be affordable housing there, but a lot of that's gone, you know, six, 700,000 is not uncommon now. If you can find something there, I'm totally guessing. I haven't looked at Burien in a long time. If you could find something under 500, um, and maybe you can find a little bit more between four and 500, but it's, it's one of those type areas that's just been, you know, kind of run over value wise because everything else in downtown Seattle and all the big core areas, Bellevue have just gotten so expensive. And you've got a fair number of homeless people. You've got homeless people, not only in the Burien community, the Kent community, which is another kind of bigger suburb. You've got Kent and then you've got Tuckwilla and you've got homeless people and migrants now. It's going to be our next uh, topic is um, migrants had a big protest in King County Courthouse and um, at a city, Seattle City Council meeting. We're going to talk about that. They basically took over Seattle City Council meeting. Oh, shenanigans. Just got shenanigans here in the Pacific Northwest all day long. So the county executive and sheriff's office did not immediately respond to inquiries from Fox News Digital on the matter. Huh, interesting. Why would that be? Well, because they tried to do a little side swipe and they just don't really care, right? They just don't really give a rat's ass. Nah, that's what we're doing. Eh, yeah, that law, not so much. But we don't, we don't need to follow that. I mean, look at this. Look at this beautiful Pacific Northwest tree-lined street, right? You got a formal concrete curb here, and you got a bunch of tents. You got a bunch of just shenanigans going on, people pulling up, selling drugs, people pulling up, putting their girls in people's tents. I mean, but no, don't enforce those laws. Don't enforce those laws. We need to, we need to keep this all going. The sheriff was appointed by King County Dow Constantine, a move granted by voters in 2021. Yep. And that's what you get. When you get a King County executive that makes the moves, that is what is what happens, right? It just the whole thing just goes sideways. So if you ever wonder how a community ends up with just some chaos, Burian, you're looking at it. Hey, we put a law in the books that we feel will help not only the community but get the people living in tents into the shelters, into the detox centers, into treatment, wherever it might be, 
that they need to be, because they certainly don't belong in a tent on the sidewalks in downtown Burien. But this is this is how that whole thing just goes wildly sideways. You've got somebody that's woke that thinks, oh no, we gotta let them live wherever they want. This this might be unconstitutional. And you're like, okay, all right. And you know what? In um court system here in the Pacific Northwest, the judge will probably say that it's unconstitutional and Burian will just have to eat it and basically just <laughs> Come up with something else. All right, so what is going to be constitutional? But it's insanity when you get to a point where you're literally talking about sweeping homeless people who are living illegally, just willy-nilly, wherever, just doing their thing with all the craziness that that brings. And you've got somebody that wants to clean that up and they're not able to because law enforcement says it might be constitutionally no-go. Welcome to my world here in the Pacific Northwest. You've got these stories that, that are happening all day long. Because you got a bunch of people who are, you know, they think they're do-gooders. But instead, what they're, what they're doing is just destroying the fabric of, of society by, oh, let them live wherever. Let them live wherever. It's crazy. All right. That's it for me on this one. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting. Love to have you subscribe. Hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. And I'll see you on the next segment. Bye for now.